Hey YouTube, so in this week's Fiat Panda Sizzly Progress Log, I'm proudly brought to you by Premier Motor Factors Walsall England, whose details, details you'll find in the description. Uh, I will be changing the diff cover and changing obviously the oil for the diff on the 4x4. And yes, it is also important to note that at one point during this process I was more oil than man. Uh, also, it's also important to note, never try to over tighten bolts or they will shear. Uh, yeah, so let's get to it. I'm releasing the oil from the rear differential on the 4x4 Sizzly Fiat Panda. Uh, now you do this by uh, loosening the 17mm socket on the rear side of the diff there. Uh, now if you loosen that, the oil should come pouring out. I'm not sure how much oil is going to be left in mine. But uh, I would note, uh, before you do any of these kind of things, always, if you're under a car, especially a rusty car like this one, always wear eye protection. You look silly, but, you know, it'll be good once you don't lose an eye. So there you go. So, yeah. I'm just going to listen to that. I have my oil catch pan here ready. And uh, I'm going to listen to that. And we'll get and see what oil comes out. Okay. So, uh, I can feel this is about to go, so, yeah, here comes the oil. Oh, no, not quite yet, unfortunately. There we go, there we go. That is horrid. So while I'm waiting for the oil to drain, and then I'm going to assess the quality of the oil, more from my own records than anything else, um, but uh, as you can see, there has been oil seeping out at the bottom of this uh, this uh, diff cover here, or, or sump. Uh, now it's only held on with these bolts. I have got a new one from Parts World. Uh, they have some brand new old stock, um, which I've been very pleased with recently. So once that's finished, I'm going to seal, seal it back up after cleaning the, the sump plug. I'm going to seal that back up, then I'm going to remove this. Uh, and then after that I will put 1.2 litres of the correct type of oil, which I'll discuss later, um, in the fill plug. I'll also check that the breather is not burned up. So as far as assessing the condition uh, goes, what we have here is a sump plug which I've cleaned up slightly. I'm, you know, I'm relatively pleased with how the sump plug is. I'm going to clean the inside of that better. Uh, but um, it's not deformed, the bolt head's not rounded off or anything like that, so I'm not worried about that. Uh, as far as the oil that has ended up in the pan, it's, it's, no, I don't know, it's just old oil, isn't it, really, at the end of the day. Um, there's that bit of rust there, I'm not sure whether that's come off the outside of the, of the sump pan, uh, or, or the inside, I'm hoping it's not the inside, let's hope not. Uh... But uh, yeah, I'm going to dispose of this oil. Um, I can tell, I can say that it didn't look anywhere near 1.2 litres that came out, which is what's supposed to go in. So yeah, this was obviously needing done. Okay, so once you have all the bolts removed, I'll have them over there. I'll clean them. Um, what you want to be doing is putting a screwdriver in the bottom edge here, and just gently, gently, gently prise it off. Remember, it has been on there for 20 years, so be careful. There we go. That's it off. Let's we can have a look inside. There we go, that is the inside of the rear differential of our Fiat Panda 4x4. It all looks as if it's been well lubricated over the years, uh, from a cursory glance. So yes, I'm, I'm pleased with that. Basically I'm just going to clean up this edge here and this, and this edge, uh, put some instant gasket on and uh, put, the, put the new cover which I have on. So yeah, please so far. Okay, so once you have that plate back on, all you need to do is undo that top bolt there um, and fill up 1.2 litres of the correct type of oil um, which I will list in the description. Uh, with hopefully the bottle will come with a good nozzle so you can do that. Good. This is the correct type. 